this is Craig from Sulcata Grove and we're going to be showing you around the different jackfruits that we have in the yard. Um, if you've never had jackfruit before, it's a very unusual fruit. It is the largest tree-borne fruit in the world. They can get up to a hundred pounds. Uh, it's not typical, but it's possible. And the flavor, some people love it, some people don't. The closest thing that we have to it uh, commercially is juicy fruit gum. Juicy fruit gum is kind of got a, is based on a, a jackfruit type flavor. But there's a lot, of, from cultivar to cultivar, there's a lot of differences as well. There's two major groups. There's the firm fruit and the soft fruited varieties. The soft fruited ones I don't really like. Um, sometimes they have the best flavor, but uh, it's been, um, the texture is very, I think, unpleasant and it's been likened to having a wet slug in your mouth. It's kind of like if you, you took cotton and you dipped it in something and just had that kind of soft goo in your mouth. That's what the soft ones are like. But flavor-wise or for drying or for cooking, those are great. The firm fruited ones, the closest thing I can really explain that way, it's almost like the, the bite of biting into a piece of meat. It's a really thick, um, not chewy, it, it's more of a crisp, but it's a it's a meaty type texture, and um, I personally love the flavor. Uh, I've had some seedling varieties that have more of an oniony flavor to them that I don't like, but all your named cultivars are going to have have good uh, good flavor to them. As you can see here, the fruit uh, it grows right off of the trunks and off of the, the thicker branches. Obviously, it has to be uh, on something that can support the kind of weight that you get out of these. Um, and you'll get two kinds of flowers, male and female flowers, and the female flowers are what turn into the fruit. I'm looking to see if I have any male flowers left. They usually come first. There's a few up here of these male flowers, and they produce the pollen, and then they'll turn black with mold and fall off. And uh, some research has shown that that mold is actually very important in attracting the pollinators and that the pollinators for jackfruit are actually attracted to the mold more than they are to the fruit itself or the pollen. Um, but you can get hundreds of pounds of fruit off one tree every year. This uh, particular one, this is Bangkok lemon, and uh, this one produced good for us year before last, and then uh, it got hit back really hard during the winter uh, we cut down its uh, what used to be our windscreen, and so this one took a really hard hit last winter. Uh, but this year it's come back and it's produced a lot of fruit on here. If you see these little white flecks on the fruit, that's a scale uh, insect that um, uh, you can get rid of with oil spray or soap even. Um, so I've sprayed those, but they haven't come off yet. But this one's got a really good flavor to it. Um, it's not super lemony, but it is, it's, got a, it's a crunchy variety and it produces a uh, pretty good sized fruit. Um, this is the Borneo Red and this is one of my trees that hasn't done really well. It had some fungal root issues a few years back which I've treated and it's recovered but it's, it's, it really hasn't boomed out yet and it's got fruit on it for the first time this year so we'll see how that works out. Um, but this is one that's supposed to have a red flesh to it and uh, we'll see how it is but like I said first time this one's produced for me. So this is the My Two variety of uh, it's uh, M A I, yeah M A I Two. There's three My varieties: My One, My Two, and My Three. And the best ones are the one and the three. So why do I have the two? Ah, I wanted one of the My ones, and this is the only one that the nursery had at the time. So I kind of just put it in. It, it's grown really well. Uh, the reason that the My 2 is supposedly inferior to the 1 and the 3 is it just doesn't produce very well. And that has been my case. I do have some fruit this year, um, but for the size of this tree, uh, you know, you compare this to the, this is as big as the Bangkok lemon, and it's got, you know, a, a, a fifth of the fruit that that one does. So it is producing. Um, I did have one fruit, I think, last year off of it that was very good, but it's not a heavy producer. So if you want a My variety, one or the three are supposed to be much better. This is the Butter Crunch uh, jackfruit. This is one that, uh, this is from a seedling that was selected down in Fruitscapes. And so this is from a piece of budwood that uh, Steve gave me. 
several years ago and I've grafted it and it has grown very well. It's produced, this is its second year producing. And um, this was actually the first really good jackfruit I ever had, was off of the original tree from this. And um, the first year that it produced for them down there, the fruit was excellent. The following two years, it was very bland. So I, I, we'll have to see how mine's gonna do here. But um, it's, again, it's more, is this more, I'm growing this more nostalgically because it was my first really good jackfruit. But uh, it does have some fruit coming in this year. You can see that, but it's got one, two, three, it's got some new ones uh, coming here. You can see the difference between the male and the female flowers. We have the male one up on top and the female one below. It's already started to develop. And there's also, this is another thing jackfruits do is they tend to uh, come off, send fruit off right out from the base of the tree. And sometimes you're getting it that way off of what the rootstock was. But uh, even, even the grafts also, they come off real low sometimes. So this variety is called Orange Crush. And obviously this is a younger tree. It just went in the ground last year. Um, but uh, it sounds good, Orange Crush. I don't know anything other than it has a really nice sounding name. So having a good cultivar name can, can help you uh, sell some plants, I guess. But uh, so I fell for it. It sounds good. We'll have to wait and see another year probably before we get to try it. But uh, but the plant itself is doing really well. So this tree was purchased as an Excalibur Red. Um, it fruited last year and it had very mediocre fruit that was not red at all. Uh, we talked to some of the forums and a lot of other people apparently that bought Excalibur Red jackfruits. Theirs have grown out and they're not, that's not what they are. So I don't know if Excalibur Red is actually a real variety or not, or if they just, they misgrafted them or they sold the wrong thing. I'm not sure what they are. Um, this one is not red and it's really not even a very good jackfruit at all. And I've got some way up there that are growing. But, um, but the thing about this is even when you have a tree that's producing less than ideal or mediocre fruit, there's something you can, you can eat, eat unripe jackfruit. And uh, it's kind of a vegan alternative to meat. I, I mentioned before that it's got kind of a meaty texture, but if you open, do it green and cook it, you can actually make what's a very good uh, substitute for pulled pork barbecue. Uh, the texture of this, not so much flavor-wise, but the texture is very much like that of, uh, of a barbecued pork. And if you put barbecue sauce on it, that's what it tastes like. And um, I did that with some last year. Uh, I, you're supposed to use it on uh, do that with unripe fruit. I did it with with the rag of some ripe jackfruit, and it was still it was it was very good. Um, so probably for this one, since they're not really Excalibur Reds, um, I'm going to pick them green and use them for barbecue. Uh, this variety is called Cristella, and it's another really good. It's a newer cultivar, but. Um, it produced last year for me and it was really good and it does have some fruit going on down here this year as well. Um, it's a fairly new release, but I've had it in the ground for about three or four years now. And uh, it's another one. It's a good, sweet, crunchy, uh, really good flavor. Uh, I can't really say whether it's a heavy producer or not. It's not for me yet, but it is still a pretty young tree, so we'll give it another few years. So this is a variety called Laura Round. It's a selection from Laura Farms down in Homestead, and it was selected for having nice, small, round fruits that are kind of more manageable. That's one of the reasons you don't see jackfruit in your supermarket is because not everybody wants to buy a 70-pound piece of fruit. Um, but one of the selections, that the things that they're selecting for now, both at Laura and um, at uh, Fairchild Farms, is they're looking for smaller ones that uh, again, just a more manageable size. So this is a good one with a really good flavor, that, uh, but it's going to have smaller fruits. This is a variety called Red Morning. Um, this is one, I've had this in the ground actually for uh, about as long as my big Bangkok lemon and my two. Uh, so it's a little bit slower grower. It hasn't produced for me yet, so I can't say anything about, well, I might be getting some fruit this year. I do see what looks like some uh, female blooms getting ready to come out down at the base. Um, 
Oh, and there's some coming off the trunk. So I may get fruit this year, but it'll be the first time. Um, the red ones, uh, they're sought after because it's a prettier fruit, but in my experience, they, they seem to be a little bit slower to growing than some of the yellow varieties. Uh, this uh, jackfruit tree is a little bit experimental. Um, this is actually originally I took four seedlings of one called Sunshine, which is uh, a cultivar grown by uh, John Painter down on uh, Pine Island. And it's a really good fruit, and so I was going to try some seedlings of it. And I took four of them and planted them in a square. And as they came up, I grafted them all together and then just let one leader go out the top. So this actually had, well, it had four trunks. It's down to three now. So I don't know how good this one's going to be. Um, one of the good things about jackfruit is a lot of times the seedlings are actually pretty good. With mangoes, if you plant a seedling, uh, even if you know what you cross, there's a really good chance you're not going to get good fruit in. It's going to take uh, in 10, 12, 15 years before it actually fruits. With jackfruit, the seedlings often come very similar to the parents uh, as they're often self-fertilized. And a lot of them are actually pretty good. So um, we're looking forward to seeing how this one's going to go. This is the first year it's fruited. And it's got some fruit down low and coming up here. So uh, we'll get to see how that one is. So this one doesn't have a name. But it's, uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a good seedling. This jackfruit is a seedling of one called Golden Pillow. Uh, it has not fruited yet. This one actually, I had a tree when this was small. We were cutting down some eucalyptus trees and one of them absolutely landed straight on top and broke this thing off to the ground. And it's come back from that over several years. Um, it may fruit this year. I've got some male flowers on it. Uh, I haven't seen any female flowers yet, so it still may fruit this year, but this is again, uh, as a seedling, it's a little bit experimental, but uh, we'll just have to see uh, what it produces. Uh, so here's five more jackfruits that I've got uh, in kind of experimental, and this middle one is actually a china that um, I don't know too much about. It hasn't fruited yet. The other two on either side are seedlings. Uh, again, they're seedlings of uh, some uh, fruit from John Painter's place. Uh, this one actually on the end does have some fruit starting in on it this year, so we'll get to see how they turn out. So that is one of the fun things with uh, if you've got enough room, you can uh, put out some jackfruit seedlings and see what you get. So thanks for touring around our jackfruit with us. Um, jackfruit again, it's, a, it's an excellent fruit. It's one of the few that will grow very quickly from a seedling to fruiting in uh, sometimes as little as two years. Uh, you don't have to graft them. Grafting doesn't make them any quicker. Sometimes people, they slows it down a year even, but uh, it's a great fruit. It's, you know, try one before you plant it. Some people like it, some people don't, but um, it grows really well here in South Florida. It's a beautiful tree, even if it doesn't fruit for you, and um, it's one of my favorites. So, thanks for watching.